Well, heart disease is a leading cause of death among men as well as women. We're all familiar with the so-called Hollywood heart attack. That's when a man clutches his chest and grimaces in agony. But how familiar are we with how a woman experiences a heart attack? According to medical experts, it's much different from men. Well, Dr. Joanna Chikwe is an associate professor in the Department of Cardiovascular Surgery at Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai, and she's also a cardiovascular surgeon. Welcome to Arise America. I got to tell you, one would think with the human body, perhaps the reaction or the symptoms to a heart attack might be the same, but I guess that's not so. It's not so, and it's taken us a little while to understand that's the case. Mm -hmm. And as you said, the classic Hollywood heart attack is a man clutching his chest, looking sweaty, pale and clammy. Mm -hmm. Women tend to feel it differently. Um, they may feel a little short of breath, a little nauseous. It's not something that often makes them think I'm having a heart attack. And it's one of the reasons why women are much li less likely to make it into hospital alive, because they'll delay calling an ambulance and getting to a place where they can be treated. Well, Doctor, what are some of the other symptoms? I understand also like feeling pain perhaps on, on your left side, short of breath, that kind of thing. But what are some of the other symptoms that women uh, might experience that say a man does not? Well, men and women will generally both experience the same kind of symptoms, but mm -hmm. women are much more likely to feel maybe a little nauseous, perhaps dizzy. Fatigue is a really common complaint. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why is it that um, we're, we're, we're finding these things out now? It seems like this is something that perhaps might have been discovered some time ago. That's a really good question. And I think a lot of it's to do with the fact that generally the trials that have told us how to diagnose and manage heart attacks have been designed primarily by men and based on patients that are mostly men. And it's only now, really, that women are being aggressively recruited into trials to improve our understanding. You know, there's something about this I, you know, that, that seems quite alarming to me, and it seems like there should, be, there, there should have been uh, other things to kind of, I guess, let people know about these different symptoms, that women really suffer from heart attacks at an alarming rate. It's Absolutely true, and huge strides have been made in reducing the number of heart attacks in men. And women, we've lagged behind in terms of how heart attacks are being managed in women. So the last few years, more women have had heart attacks and have died of heart attacks than men have in the United States. And that's something that organizations like the American Heart Association are really working hard to change. We want women to get the same improvements and reductions in heart attacks as men. Could it be, doctor, that perhaps because women may not know that they're having a heart attack, uh, that uh, they may have had these symptoms and, and many more women have died as a result of not knowing that something dire was going on That's in their body? That's absolutely true. And also women may not even suspect they have heart disease. Because again, if you go onto Google and Google heart attack, you will be shown 50 pages of pictures of men clutching their chests, mm -hmm. and maybe only one or two of a woman. So it's not something that many women will even suspect they have. Doctor, I guess I have to ask a question. Is there, uh, are what you're saying that perhaps women may be, may be more predisposed to a heart attack? What is it about their, their physiology uh, that, that makes them more susceptible to a heart attack, perhaps, than men? There's a constellation of things, but if you're trying to think to yourself, what can I do to reduce the risks of having a heart attack? Mm -hmm. And this advice goes for men as well. The first thing is if you smoke, stop. Stop it. Just stop. That, even cigars? You'll halve your risk. Even cigars, I'm afraid. <laughs> you will halve your risk of having a heart attack. And okay. then it's the simple ABC. Mm -hmm. A is increase your activity. You need mm -hmm. to get fit. You need to exercise. And then B, get your blood pressure checked, find out what your blood sugar is, find out what your blood cholesterol is, mm -hmm. and then see, see a doctor. How are you getting word out to women now about this to make them more aware of, of what, what Well, I'm wearing are. the wrong color today. Here I am dressed in blue, but the, the mantra for the American Heart Association is go red for women. Mm -hmm. So we do a series of fundraisers. We educate the community, we try and get people involved because pretty much everyone knows a woman that was close to them, that's important to them in their life, that's been impacted by heart disease and, and we want to change that. Go red for women. Well, absolutely. I have, well, I have on my red tie. You, you've done a better job than I have So today. shame on you, shame cardiovascular on surgeon. Actually, this is very serious uh, stuff, and I'm glad that you came onto the show. And of course, we will reiterate this, of course, throughout Arise News and our broadcast here. But Joanna Chickway, thank you for joining us. Thank you so much. Okay, doctor. And this is Arise America.